Put your hands together and praise him in the house. Right here in Detroit, Michigan. My next guest, Bishop Stephen Bennett, come on. Yes, sir. All right. Woo! We're going to dance tonight. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Woo! Yes, sir. Woo! You better stop that. Let the church say amen. Ooh. I felt one of those Bertrand Bailey things. It, it stayed up there for a minute. Yes! together for the man of God. <laughs> Bishop! Bless you. <laughs> Bishop! All right. All right. You got it going on in here. Let yes, me tell sir. you. Let me tell you. I feel old school tonight. <laughs> I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Amen. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all, and all he's done for me, my soul yeah, cries out. Hallelujah. Thank God for saving me. Yeah, he didn't have to do it. <laughs> but it is. All right. <laughs> Woo! Woke me up this morning. Started me on my way. Yeah, activities Food on the table. I know he's able. Say yeah. Yeah. Oh! He's all right. He's all right. <laughs> Woo! The Lord is good to us, isn't he? Do people still believe Jesus like that? Yeah. At House of Prayer and Pray. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I am loving this. Hallelujah, Bishop. So happy, oh. so glad to have you on tonight. You are on fire. Man, look, I am excited to be here. Amen. And uh, really thank Kevin Adel for blessing us and mm -hmm. giving us this opportunity as well as you, Bishop. Thank you so much. I thank him too. You know, I don't take it for granted. Though. I don't either. I don't take it for granted, man. I don't just thank God. I thank God for the people who got what God gave to them. That's right. And, and I'm, I'm happy. But let me tell you, three years ago, man, I was doing well, you know, uh, eating right, exercising. Do what the Lord said, do church growing. And out of nowhere, I was afflicted with bone marrow cancer. Jesus. And let me tell you, man, they said, how you feel when that happened, Bishop? I said, man, it, I was just dull. You know, it was like eating, eating greens with no salt in it. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> you like know? grass. Yeah, like grass, uh -huh. man. And, uh, you know, I had to go through that whole process. And Bishop oftentimes we have seasons that we really don't want to deal with mm. in life and you know trouble you know trouble isn't trouble until it knocks at your house my god and man it just took me for a loop it really did and so i really had to trust god and i often tell people that i am born again Whew. I am. I'm born again, man. Actually, you born again, again. Again, again. Exactly. Wow. So, so everything was fine. Ministry was growing. Everything was going good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eating right. Exercising. Eating right, what exercise, all things supposed to do. Losing weight, and then bam. Bam. Hit me all of a sudden, you know, because bone marrow cancer is a disease. It's, it's very hard to detect. You know, you you get symptoms one at a time. You know, and they come and they go. They come and they go, and it's it's when your body has too much calcium in it, and it eats come and go, and it eats uh, uh, legions in your bones. You know, and that's like bad membership. You know, they come and they go. <laughs> the cancer come and they, they come go. And I'm they a go. pastor too. You, you understand what I'm saying? They come and they go. They don't all happen at one time. Eat a little, eat a, eat a little, eat a little calcium. Eat a little calcium. And they, 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 leave legions in leave you. Know? Legion anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and so you know, me and my wife, my family, you know, I have a beautiful family, six children, you know, five lovely daughters, one handsome son, you know. Uh, my wife, uh, 36 years of marriage, you know, and uh, I, I tell you. <laughs> 
uh, you know, and, and that I mean, really, that time. You saw me waving I, over there. I, I, <laughs> see, I don't care nothing about these cameras and nothing like that. I just have church. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, and, and that's how... That's how I made it, man. You know, I had to go through the chemo and uh, actually several times. Like twice, it came back twice on me, man. Wow. But, uh, you know, Psalms 91 got me through. Psalms 91. Jesus, Psalms 91, and Valerie Bennett, amen, got me through. And, and, and the best church Say on the again. west side, the Psalms like 91, Jesus, and Valerie Bennett. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you, man. Um, wow. Let me tell you, a man. She's a healer. Yes, listen, she is. man. You know, there was a song out, out in the world when I was coming up. Uh -huh. they, they called it sexual healing. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> you got to have me back to talk about that. I man. sure will. <laughs> I sure will. In fact, we can talk a little bit about that right now. Yes, sir. Because uh, yeah. yeah, it will so, heal you. Yeah, just, oh, wow, yeah. You know, Ray Charles said, what kind of man is this? <laughs> <laughs> but but that, but Bishop, it, it got me through, man. You are, you, you, you are refreshing to the body mm -hmm. of Christ. Amen. And there are people right at home right now mm -hmm. that just laugh their way out of bondage. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm Amen. so tired of the Amen. stuck up Amen. individuals. You, right. you. You, right, you, right. You're a blessing. Well, you know, I, I had to get used to that. I had to get used to my gift to the body of Christ. You, you see what I'm saying? And, and I've learned that you need to do what God called you to do. I, I can't be a Bishop Bloomer. I can't be you. You see, I can only be Steve. Yes. And, and I'm so glad that can't nobody beat me from being Bishop Bennett. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So what's coming up for you in your ministry? Well, uh, we're getting ready to expand a little more on outreach. We've been feeding the community. We do a massive feeding once a month. We uh, open up uh, our soup kitchen. We're in the process now of buying the rest of Wyoming so that we can uh, go into our dream center. Amen. Amen. Next month, uh, May, next month, May, we launched the, the daycare that's coming up, and uh, we're really excited about that. Also, we like to expand a little bit because I do believe that now it's time for us to go on the Word Network. So, hey, man, you might, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. So we're really, we're really excited about what the Lord is doing for us in that arena. So you are thinking about joining the family. Joining the family. I want you to know that the Word Network family is the greatest family on the face of the earth right mm -hmm. now. Yes, it is. We have gone from just being a distribution house of mm -hmm. a showing of the ministries, mm -hmm. urban, the, the mm -hmm. best in urban ministry, urban gospel, mm -hmm. to a ministry. And if you can't feel that, you, you live on another planet. Mm -hmm. We're here. We're praying. We have prayer partners. We have worship. We, it's, it's a church. Right. And we want you to come and be a part and join the church and uh, join this, this word church gathering. And so I pray that the Lord would open up tremendous doors for you and Amen. for your ministry Thank so you. that you could realize this great uh, mission. Our job is to carry this gospel of the kingdom That's right. through the four corners of the earth. That's right. And the enemy wouldn't, have, tacked, wouldn't uh, right. have, have attacked you if there wasn't something big in you. He don't break into empty votes. Exactly, exactly. You know, you know the biggest challenge with healing it, is aftercare, you know, is aftercare, it's holding on to what God has done in your body and in your life. And so, and so because, because the enemy will fight you, he will fight you in your mind. But when that, when, when, when you get into Psalms, Psalms 91 talks about, do not be afraid by the terror by night. Yeah. Amen. And so, so because that night is when, is, is when the enemy really attacks you. Yeah. And so, you know, because every time, every little pain, every, every little stumble that you have, you think, well, wow, is that the cancer? I, I thought I was healed. And then when you meet a lot of church folk, church folk be very spiritual all the time, you know. And, and you know, when, you, when you're going through, sometimes you just don't want to hear that. You're like, right. look, you know, I need a friend. Well, I, need some, anyway. right, right. I need somebody to sit down and talk to me and talk me through this, you know, because I know what God can do. That's why I said I was born again. We, 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 we got less than a minute, but I want to ask you a quick question okay. uh, uh, on oppression. Okay. When you were going through that season, mm -hmm. what was your state of mind like? My state of mind was was shadow. It was gray. And uh, my wife would come in at times and she would cut lights on. And I would, I would, she'd come in my office and cut lights on. I said, why are you cutting those lights on? She said, I want to know where your mind at. You know, because depression is, is very settled. You see, that, that's, the that, that's a spirit that by the time you realize you got it, mm. 
it done got you. It done got you. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so now, now you need counseling. You, yes. need, you need somebody to cast that spirit out, you know. But I'm telling you, my wife, and I say it everywhere I go, my wife was my deliverer, man. Wow. Amen. Amen. You got to bring me on to talk about that, too. That's right. Next time, <laughs> next time you come back, we're going to bring you and your wife together. Amen. And you can talk about it. And she can talk about it. Let's do Jesus that. Name. Let's do that. And let's work it out where you can stay a while and come preach over at the house. Well, I like that. We would love to have you. There you go. Now, now you heard that 20, how, how many, how many million? 80 million plus another 50 million? That's right. Uh-huh. Then heard you say That's that. Said it, so I can't lie to the millions. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to do that. Amen. I would love to do that. You know, people have been saying, well, Bishop is not going to come because he's too big. Not, the devil is alive. You ask me, I'm going to come. So ask Amen. me, I'll come. Amen. All right. Thank you so much, Pastor. Thank Put you. your hands together for this powerful man of God.